When you see a medieval picture of the cross and this poor man, the son of Joseph the carpenter, hanging on there with his nails, the Romans decided that this chap who called himself the king of, of the Jews, huh? so they put up a board there which says, Jesus Nazareth Rex Juderam. Jesus, Nazareth, Rex, Juderum. Now, in the uh, uh, Latin language, J and I have the same letter. Jesus, but what do you read? Jesus, Nazareth, you read it as Inri, I-N-R-I. Have you seen the pictures? You read it as I-N-R-I, Indri. Uh, according to the Romans, people have usually read it as uh, J-N-R-J, Jesus, Nazareth, Jesus, King of, Jesus from Nazareth, the King of the Jews, Rex, Judarum, of the Judas. <laughs> But actually, since I and J are interchangeable, from our point of view, from the point of view of the teachers of Theosophy, who also were in the Himalayas, and also from the teachings of some of the initiates from that who were in the West, who wore three-piece suits and were not known to be yogis. Uh, from their point of view, it actually represents something very, very important. Why this son of Joseph, called Jesus, Isa, it's not Jesus is an English variation from Greek, it's Isa, not Isha Vashyamida, not that, Isa. Mm -hmm. This uh, Isa guy is actually from the point of view of the initiates, initiates coming from all traditions, is not a, just a human being, but a combination of the spirit and matter who has been initiated into the mysteries and therefore discovered himself and seen that he is not the body, but something more. That he and his father are one, there is no difference. And therefore, I and our I, if you substitute the J, which is the actual meaning which is there, I, because the two letters are interchangeable in Latin. I is igne. What is igne? Fire. Ignition. When you start the car. <laughs> Igne. Derived from the Sanskrit root Agni. Igne, fire. N, natura. What is natura? The world. Prakriti. Earth. Prithvi. Renovat. Renewed. Integra, through integration, which means this being is one who is a combination of the earth being renovated by the fire of the spirit, which is why in the tradition of the initiates, he is referred to as Christos, which means again from the root Chris, Chris. Christos meaning consciousness, expanded consciousness. Yeah, when you reach there, you have nothing to take, <laughs> only to give in the marketplace. And you have no loss that can bind you from that point of view. What would one preach on a Sabbath? No, you're not supposed to. 
on a Sabbath, you do nothing, no work, not even preaching. And here is this man preaching on the Sabbath in Jerusalem. And they say, what are you doing? You're breaking the law. What is the answer? The law was made for man, not man for the law. Why? Hands are open, nothing tight and closed. Have you seen any pictures, medieval pictures of Jesus the Christ? How does he stand? Right? Ah. And when you have suffered enough in life, even getting into spiritual practice is in a way a little bit of painful thing because you have to give up certain things which you would enjoy otherwise. You go into it, you are crucified actually. You may wear a crown, but it's a thorns, made of thorns. Uh -huh. It is fine.